a 4x4 in a world off-roads. One site brings you more. The original 4x4offroads.com Cooler 4x4 trucks and more off-road freedom. Google Hangout we, we're having and uh, today we're going to talk with, uh, with Jonathan Adams uh, who's creating uh, the first off-road movie, Rough Stuff. And he's the like the creator of the movie, and uh, well, he's he's living in Australia, so we are talking, you know, quite a distance between us. And I'm here in Iceland, and uh, uh, with this, I'm going to introduce Jonathan and welcome to the show. And um, maybe you can begin with, you know, tell tell us a little bit about yourself and and uh, why start making movies? Sure. Uh, well, thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for having me in your cyberspace, um, all the way over from uh, Iceland. Um, basically, I've I've always been a uh, I've been an avid filmmaker. I wanted to do this since I was I think twelve or thirteen. I uh, just sort of started making movies with my friends at school, and and gradually, piece by piece. Uh, figured out how it all works, and uh, you know, I, I probably did a short film or two every year for about ten years. After that, progressively, they, they they didn't become watchable, I think, until about five or six years in. <laughs> um, but uh, I would just uh, I started by by roping in friends and family in the early days, and gradually started to to work with professional actors and professional crews and. Uh, you know, I, I worked my way to, to now. I do it professionally um, in the in the training and, and corporate world. But I also uh, my films have toured festivals internationally and, and, and you know, won a few awards here and there. And uh, I'm at a point now where I feel like I have the the skills and, and the contacts and the um, and the the team that that I really need to be able to turn it into a feature. Uh, so that's where Rough Stuff came in. I I felt like it was the it was the right time, and I was looking for the right idea, and and uh, rough stuff came along. So we're we're pushing through, and uh, we're mostly fully financed, and uh, we have a crew that's very keen, and we're starting our casting process, and uh, all very excited. Yeah, it's very exciting, and and uh, you know Australia is a I guess a great country for off-roading, very big, and uh, lots of wilderness in the centre areas, I guess. And um, and you know Australian yeah. movies like the Mad Max and it's uh, sort of uh, sets the tone. But but uh, when did you get you know interested in off roading? Well, my family. Uh, I, I come from an avid four wheel driving family as well. My uh, I think we got our first four wheel drive. I was probably eight or nine years old, and and it was a Pajero. And we used to just uh, you know we just did the family thing. We just sort of got into it. Grand- Gradually and lightly, and uh, we just did it in the where well, we would go camping and everything. But then we got gradually more and more serious. My my dad's midlife crisis vehicle was a was a, a supercharged Discovery with 35 inch uh, mud crawlers and um, diff locks and uh, you know all the works. And uh, my brother Daniel is still very uh, very involved in the competition scene and and has a uh, so has had a whole series of heavily modified vehicles, so I um, I'm not quite as uh, serious about the the competition angle as as Daniel is, but I'm much more interested in the in, in touring and just sort of uh, weekend adventures and and that sort of thing. And uh, I, I just and that was the thing. It was uh, because I, I know so many people in four wheel driving and 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 you know my my brother and, and his friends and my friends we. Uh, I, I always thought it would be interesting to, you know, it, that would be something to my advantage if I could make a movie around it. But it was coming up with the right story. Um, you know, you, you, it sometimes it's a challenge just to, you know, look at the things around you and say, well, what can I do with with the with the things that are available to me? Um, and then one day, I, uh, I I remember very clearly the day when when I had that idea of, um, you know, not not to do a movie about four wheel drives, but to use four wheel drives. Uh, as part of a, a, an adventure narrative, you know, a, a, a just a big, uh, old-fashioned, you know, treasure hunt, jungle adventure slash western adventure story, 
and uh, you know, instead of riding horses and, and instead of trekking through the jungle, they're in four-wheel drives. I just thought, I just went, oh, that that sounds like everything that I ever want to watch, but but it's never available. So that's when I uh, that's when I had the idea that I could bring together my two, you know, these two things that I love that that, that are in my life, which is uh, movies and four-wheel drives, because I didn't really want to make. I mean, it's it's difficult, difficult because. Um, you know, if you make a car chase, but there's lots of there's a really rich tradition in in movies and in Hollywood of, of car movies. You know, whether it's Smoking the Bandit or or Bullet or uh, you know Gone in 60 Seconds or Fast and the Furious. You know, there's there's certainly a it's a whole subgenre of, of action and adventure based around uh, cars. And um, I, I think that the the temptation when making a four-wheel drive you know movie is to sort of do it the same way. Um, but I think the real, the, what, what, what really sets four-wheel drives apart is the fact that they're, uh, that they're what let, allow you to get out into the great, you know, the great beyond and uh, into these amazing locations and, and see things that other people can't see and don't see. And uh, that's when I realized that the narrative possibilities around, around doing a movie with four-wheel drives were enormous. It was actually the the... the the possibilities around the stories that I could tell is what drove me to to be excited about um, about making a four wheel drive movie. Yeah, there, yeah, it's, it's Sorry, a brilliant, rambling. brilliant, brilliant car to uh, to work with off roading cars because they're you know way more exciting than tr just driving on the asphalt at least for us uh, as uh, you know four by four owners. And but uh, why do you think there are so few you well, know off road movies around there? Um, well, I think there's there's very few off-road movies. Uh, like in terms of narrative, I, I don't know if there's ever really been one that's that's been explicitly about off-roading. And and as I said, it's always been there's a rich tradition of of uh, of, of car movies. Um, and I think there's there's sort of two ways to look at it because often films get made because uh, a subject is very popular. So I think that a four-wheel drive film is is inevitable at, at some point. Uh, maybe it's a few years down the track before someone else had the idea. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm the first one who's had the idea. Um, but generally, you know, the people who are making movies, the studios and, the, and even the independent companies, looking for a, a popular subject. So they might go, you know, uh, you know, what's popular right now? Well, uh, you know, what, what's it called? The um, the the Pitch Perfect movie with the, when they're doing the singing without the um, without the music. I can't remember the word for what that's called, but they might go, okay, well that's popular at the moment, so let's make a movie about that, and, and it'll be successful. Um, so there's one argument to say, you know, it's just that the people in the in the suits and the people in charge haven't yet caught on to the fact that there's a, there's a whole very hungry, very passionate uh, community of of uh, people who drive four wheel drives who would. Love to see a, a movie set around that world and, and featuring that kind of action. Um, so I think it's only a matter of time before before one of them, uh, someone does have that idea. Um, and I'm just hoping I'm the first one who has. Um, and the the other side to it is just you know, I think it, it sort of takes someone who had that right combination of uh, of experiences. So I, you know, as I said, grew up in a in a kind of four wheel drive community. Um, and I also have a passion for film. That's my first passion, my primary passion. And I think it was just the right person at the right time um, having that idea, to and uh, the the skills and the and the positioning to bring it to life. Um, I think uh, you know that's that's really where it comes from. So um, you know, like I said, I, I think it was just a matter of time before something like this happened anyway, because I think it's, people will eventually realise that. If you really want to see something like this, the four-wheel drive community is really crying out for something like this. Yeah, and I think that's going to be really exciting for us uh, just to just to see it when it comes out uh, later, maybe this year or some play, sometime. But uh, what what do you find is most challenging, you know, when uh, when creating a movie, and uh, apart from the mo money, maybe. Uh, you mean you mean. But you, you mean rough stuff particularly, or, or the uh, or just filmmaking in general? Well, maybe both. Just uh, first generally, and then then the the rough stuff movie. Right. Well, uh, 
uh, well, rough stuff. So far, we're, we're not in production, so we're not scheduled to, to shoot the film until October of this year. Um, so the challenge so far has really been, been writing it and, and uh, the developing story and everything. I've spent two years developing the story. I've written five drafts of the script, and I'm, I'm very happy with where it's at. I'm, I'm going to do another draft before we shoot. Um, but, you know, writing is, is a very <laughs> difficult thing um, for, for me anyway. I think for most writers, uh, just uh, you forcing yourself to sit there and look at that blank page and, and just make it come to life, um, you know, and, and you know every page has to be good or it's just a waste of time. So my, my process that I've discovered for that is to, to get up and, and go out, leave the house first thing, and um, I'll, I'll drink two coffees and have a hot breakfast, and um, with, with that much fuel, I can maybe get through two or three pages of script, and uh, that's that's about it. And I just uh, takes me a couple of months, a couple of months for each draft um, to, to to pull the whole thing together. So that's been a huge challenge. Um, but as I said, very very happy with how it came together. Um, I think filmmaking in general, I think the, the most challenging part, I think any filmmaker will agree, is is actual production. Is, is shooting the film. And I think a lot of people don't understand or they're very shocked when they when they do come to a set and they realize how how chaotic it is and how tense it is and uh, and just how long it takes to get all the elements together to, to just get a single shot or to just get a, a couple of shots. Um, I mean that's it's as a director, you know, you're 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 trying to focus on just getting the moment right. You're trying to work with your actor. The, the challenge of uh, shooting a film, um, you know, you, you're trying to focus on on getting each moment right, and getting the performances right, and the, the lighting and everything. But there's so many uh, disparate calls on your attention uh, at every minute of the day. You know, you've, you've got your uh, your first AD wants to know what the next shot is. It's your first assistant director, and you know, your unit production manager wants to know when lunch is, and uh, you know, the, the producer wants to know if we're on schedule and you've just got all the people around you at all times. Actors want to know what their motivation is and uh, you just sort of have to manage, everyone, manage everyone's uh, expectations and all the while just trying to get uh, get the shot right and try and make the movie good. Um, I think just day-to-day just -day operating that way is, is very challenging and, and you know, you, you just need to. Um, I think it just it takes a lot of experience and a lot of hours on set before you, you just get used to it and, and embrace that environment and learn to work within it. So um, I think that's that's always the most challenging part. You know, you're always losing light and you're always only have so many hours of the day and uh, you know every minute that every minute that you're you're not getting the shot is uh, is a bit tense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you say, it's probably. A lot, a lot to do with the with the script writing before. That's the hardest part. And um, you know, what's in the what's in the trailer? It looks like you know there are some bad people in the movie. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about the plot? Um, well, the, the challenge with the trailer was that uh, we we haven't shot any in the movie yet, so I just wanted to give people a sort of a flavor and an idea of, of what a four-wheel drive movie might look like. Um, but yeah, it really doesn't hint much of the story. It hints a little bit at one angle of the story, which is that uh, Australia, as you know, is just an enormous, uh, enormous country with a very small population uh, comparatively. So in the in the central areas of Australia, uh, many people go to uh, to escape the to escape the, the daily grind of the city, to escape the smog. Um, to escape their pasts, whatever, what have you. So, in the central of in the central areas of Australia, where it's very sparsely populated, there's kind of a whole world um, that's sprung up. That's that's kind of kind of like the old west. Um, it's kind of like the new frontier. And uh, we call the people who who occupy these areas rovers. And uh, rough stuff is about a rover named Buzz. And uh, Buzz is a very kind of uh, a self-sufficient man, very, uh, very individualist, very independent, and he's on the run from uh, from a bounty hunter who's come to collect old debts, and uh, he he has an opportunity when these these uh, this this team comes along and uh, has a map 
leading to something called Stray's Gold, which is a legendary, uh, a legendary treasure that's been uh, left behind by a by a, a, a convict for hundreds of years ago. And uh, this is his last chance. He sees to finally, finally get get the gold and pay off his debts. Um, and so, just in time, uh, but to, to do it, he has to go along with this this uh, activist team, this activist environment, uh, environmentalist documentary crew. And so, there's a bit of tension between uh, between them and him. And all the while, so they they take off on the journey. And the journey, the map leads them through a place called the Muya Valley, which is an impenetrable, uh, uncharted territory in the in the middle of Australia. Um, and uh, all the while, just as they start getting closer to the goal, the, the bounty hunter starts catching up with them. So basically, Buzz and, and he, he has a team of, uh, a team of rovers um, who, are, who uh, go with him on all of his travels. Sorry, so, uh, so Buzz and the rovers are on, a, uh, on an adventure uh, to find the gold through the, uh, through the impenetrable valley. And uh, it turns out that one of these, uh, one of these activists has uh, some devious plans involving a, a mining operation that's happening happening out in the uh, out in the valley and so uh, the bars and the rovers find themselves caught up in this in this conflict between the environmentalists and the and the uh, and the mining company all the while trying to find the gold and and best the uh, the bounty hunter that's after them and so uh, there's a lot going on there's a lot of uh, a lot of betrayals a lot of twists and turns along the way um, and it's sort of just a, 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 an old-fashioned um, adventure road movie, jungle trek movie. That's kind of how I how I envisioned it. Um, be very sort of exciting, modern take on on an old lost genre. More more than anything, I love uh, I love adventure movies. That's really and I, I love what adventure uh, kind of suggests. And I think as as a fellow four-wheel drive enthusiast, I, I think you'll understand what I mean, you know, that idea of adventure being something that's kind of difficult and, and suggests adversity and it suggests getting dirty and suggests getting, uh, you're challenging yourself, but it puts a positive sort of spin on it. And I think that's really what the story, uh, what the story is about, what the film is about. It's about, uh, you know, some, some difficult circumstances and putting them, putting all of the characters through a, a, a real difficult challenge, um, but also just having a really great fun time uh, while doing it, the audience, yeah, the, the film, the experience of the film is meant to be very exciting and very, uh, very visceral, very visceral and, uh, and and funny and adventurous. So that's really what it's all about. Yeah, it's all about the adventure, I guess, and you know, off-roading and seeing new places and discovering things. Um, uh, you're you're on the final stages of, of financing the project and. Uh, uh, I think you wanted to tell us a little bit more about that, maybe. Yes. Well, uh, so we're running. We have some private investment, um, and that's that's gotten us ninety percent of the way. But it is very uh, is very expensive to make a feature film, and uh, and so to get us over the line, we've started a Kickstarter campaign. So if you just go to just Google uh, Rough Stuff Kickstarter, and uh, you'll come up with our page. You can see the teaser trailer and and a little video. With me, you probably had enough of me talking by now. Um, and uh, look, the idea is that with, with with crowdfunding now, we have the opportunity, and, and this has been proven in many other projects, uh, we have the opportunity to, to now directly fund the things that that we want to see happen. And I'm hoping that the four-wheel drive community will get behind something like Rough Stuff and, and think that it's going to be, you know, hopefully see, see some of the work that we've done, the teaser and some of my past work see uh, the story we've put together um, and we'll, we'll believe that we can pull this off and that we're the, we're the team to pull this off and uh, get behind us and, and through Kickstarter you can contribute anything from a dollar up to eight thousand dollars if you if you wanted to um, and uh, through by doing that you can help us get the film financed and help us get over the line and make it better um, and also it's just a great way to, to be a part of be a part of the process of making the film. Some of the uh, some of the rewards you can get by pledging on Kickstarter, are, you, can, you can get some bumper stickers that are limited edition. If that's that's just for the fifteen dollar one, you can you get a download of the film for twenty five dollars, um, which is five dollars off the retail price. And if you think you're going to buy it anyway, when it when it comes out, why not do it now and and help us get over the line? 
Um, there's all the way up to things like you could be an extra in the film, you can have a speaking role. Uh, we even had one where you could buy a, uh, you could name the name a, a spirit in the film. Someone already bought that one. Um, so no, spirit by spirit, I mean a, uh, a home brew, <laughs> not a not a ghost spirit, but like a home brew that, that a character has uh, created. Um, so there's lots of fun, exciting uh, perks on the Kickstarter page, and I really hope the, the community will get behind it and and uh, help us get there because it's uh, you know it's 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 really going to be an exciting thing. And, I want to really show the world what four-wheel driving is, is all about and, and what you can do and, and where you can go and that it's really a, a, a positive thing. It's not just about, you know, petrol heads and, uh, and diesel. It's about uh, getting out and seeing amazing places and, uh, and, and challenging yourself and, and, you know, seeing nature. And that's, I think, a lot of, uh, a lot of part of what the film is about. Yeah. Um, it's going to be... A you know, really fun to see when it comes out and uh, and uh, hopefully you get all the finance you, you need. And uh, it's been, a, you know, a real pleasure to talk with you, Jonathan, and, and uh, well, good luck with your project and maybe we'll talk later about when the film is out. Yes, I hope, I hope I'll get to, uh, get to uh, check in with you again in a few months' time. I'll give you an update. Okay, and... Uh, well, th thanks for watching, and um, and um, well, we'll post this uh, video up on the website soon again because uh, with all the delays and stuff, just to uh, clear things up. But uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Get your four by four off road now. Subscribe to the 4x4 Off-Roads YouTube channel and the 4x4 Off-Roads Facebook page.